no, no, no. <laughs> A few moments later. Kung first time nyo sa channel na ito, maaari nyo pong isubscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga susunod na upload ko. Standard specifications for ReadyMix Concrete are specified in ASTM C94. ReadyMix Concrete is concrete that is manufactured in a batch plant in accordance with a specified design mix. A few moments later. It is also called RMC that refers to concrete is specifically batch or manufactured for customers' construction projects and supplied for the customer on site as a single product. It is a mixture of Portland or other cement, water, aggregates, and sometimes admixture as per ASTM C494. Ang ReadyMix Concrete ay binibinta by volume at ang project na ito ay gumagamit kami ng 2,500 PSI, 3 fourth size of aggregates at 28 days na nagkakahalagang 3,790 pesos per cubic meter or about $77 and prices varies depending on the location. The biggest advantage of using ReadyMix Concrete is produced under controlled conditions. Therefore, quality concrete is obtained compared to concrete mix in a bagger mixer. It also reduces labor cost and time required for construction. However, one of the disadvantages include effective transportation system and concrete has limited time and should be used within 210 minutes or 3.5 hours. Therefore, consider the distance of the project from the batching plant and the volume of traffic, especially on peak hours. But in general, using ReadyMix Concrete is eco-friendly compared to SiteMix Concrete because mixing is done in closed chambers as it reduces the noise and air pollution. Vibrating concrete is almost always recommended since vibrated concrete will be stronger. But depending on the project, especially if the concrete mix is too wet, the concrete may have its self-consolidation. But it is necessary to use vibrators in concreting of beams, columns, floor slabs, and other structural member of the building of about 15 seconds each lift vertically at a distance of 60 cm. There are three types of ready mix concrete. The first one is transit mix concrete, which we are using. It is also known as track mix concrete, in which materials are batched at a central plant and thoroughly mixed in the track during transition. The second one is shrink mix concrete. 
it is used to increase the truck's load capacity where concrete is mixed at the plant to shrink the volume of the concrete. The balance mixing of concrete is completed in the truck during transition time or at the construction site. And the third one is central mixed concrete or referred to as wet batch plant. The concrete is batched and completely mixed in a stationary mixer at the plant site before discharging it into the truck mixers. As per specification, mayroong 100 revolutions per minute. Ito yung rotation ng transit mixer na nandyan na sa loob ng mixer ang lahat ng mga materialis. At mayroon ding 4 to 6 revolutions per minute during the batching and 5 km per hour ang recommended speed rolling. Mixing of concrete for long period of time at high speed for about 1 or more hours can result in concrete strength loss, temperature rise, excessive loss of entrained air, and accelerated slump loss. A few moments later. There are two major parts of concrete, paste and aggregates. Paste is consist of cement, water, or void, or with any admixtures. And aggregate is composed of sand and gravel. So ito yung buhangin na gagamitin at saka yung graba. Saka yung tubig din. Nandun na yung tubig. Nakaprepare na din yung tubig. So piniprepare na din natin yung bubuusan. Dapat lagi ng spacer para hindi siya didikit dun sa ano, lupa. So yung ano namin dito is strength. Dito is 2500 PSI lang siya. So as per standard din no, dapat yung tubig na gagamitin natin is malinis siya. Ito yung nasa standard ng DPWH na dapat yung tubig na mali gamitin sa concrete is ano siya, potable water, I think potable water yun. Pero kadalasan kapag nasa yung mga nakikita natin sa construction is hindi naman ganun ka ano, yung tubig na gagamitin pero yung standard talaga is dapat malinis at pwedeng inumin yung tubig it is recommended to use one brand of cement in project but the difference of using different brand of Portland cement is the color of the finished product only it does not affect its strength requirements unless affected by concreting methodology. So ayun, piniprefer na po nila yung mga materialis. So kung medyo tuyo yung lupa na bubuusan or yung area na bubuusan so dapat uh, basahin muna siya ng tubig bago yung concreting para yung tubig doon sa concrete is hindi siya sisipsipin sa lupa dapat yung pagbukas din ng sako ng semento is yung dulo ng sako yung bubutasan para yung sako na yan is magagamit pa siyang magagamit pa siya lagyan ng ano ng buhangin o mga graba so kasi kadalasan yung ibang mga construction workers Kung hindi mo babantayan, parang tutusukin na lang nila sa gitna ng sako na yan, tutusukin na lang nila ng pala. Doon na lang ihalo nila agad sa, ano, sa may buhangin. Sayang din kasi yung sako, ma-reuse pa natin. Pwede natin lagyan ng maliban doon sa mga buhangin, pwede din siyang lagyan ng mga basura natin. 
So dapat doon sa dulo kung so, yun ginagamitan namin ng ano ng cutter para malinis yung pagka-open ng sako sa semento. Nalagyan na nila ng gasolina yung bagger mixer. So dapat din nakabuta yung mga ano. <laughs> so dapat naka Asan yung buta mo nakuha na yan? Bakit hindi mo binalik yan sa ano? So dapat din nakabuta sila para safety na lang din sa habang nagbubuhos para yung ano lang hindi malagyan ng mga concrete yung paa. So as per standard din, dapat pag maghalo ng sa mixer, bago ilagay yung simento, tubig muna ilagay yung, tubig muna o na ilagay bago ilagay yung mga simento. Around I think 10% ng ano, na malagay na buhangin at saka tubig bago ilagay yung simento while nagmimix siya. Yeah. So meron po tayong ibang video dyan about sa concreting standards. So, pwede nyo din po yung bisitahin. Tsaka na ilagay ang semento kung nasa about 10% na ang aggregates na nasa mixer. The water should enter the mixer first and continue to flow while the other ingredients is entering the mixer. Mixing time of concrete usually takes 1 minute per cubic meter plus 25 seconds for additional 1 cubic meter. And mixing time should not be less than 50 seconds, but not more than 90 seconds. For class A concrete or 1 is to 2 is to 4 mixture by volume, an estimated 20 liters of water in one bagger mixer. Inirekomenda sa isang project na isang brand lang ng simento ang gagamitin. Ngunit ang kaibahan lang naman kung iba-ibang brand ang gagamitin na simento ay ang color ng finish product nito. Walang kaibahan sa strength nito, nagdedepende na lang ito sa methodology kung paano ito ginawa. So hindi namin nabuhusan yung part na yan kasama dun sa ready mix kasi may buhangin kasi sa part na yan yung time na nagbuhus kami so para hindi madili din yung ibang activities namin so naisipan na lang namin na i ano na lang i manual concreting na lang yan